we're going to start in child's pose. So if, if you want to go to your mat um, and start in child's pose, knees wide apart. Couple of inhales and exhales here just to calm that breath. You could exhale through the mouth a couple times. And then when you feel like you're ready, you could seal those lips and do your inhale and exhale out the mouth. Just a few more breaths. Be glad you tuned in tonight. Getting ready to maybe get back into a little bit more of our routine. So I remember in the beginning of when this first started, our social distancing and um, doing a lot of things, working from home, yoga from home. We were all in a rush to get back to our normal. And one of my classes I talked about that is like we we're in a rush to get back to our normal. But maybe we took this time to see what serves us, what normal serves us. And maybe not bring it back. If it doesn't serve you, don't bring it back. You know, we didn't need it anyway. So just keeping that in mind. All right, I'm gonna come to my mat. A few more breaths here. Chest is dropping to the mat. You could give yourself a nice little neck uh, forehead massage if you want to rock your forehead side to side on your mat. Let's start to activate those fingers and lift those elbows up and away from the mat. And let's inhale, coming up to all fours, hands and knees. You could wiggle this off, do some little figure eights. You can even swing the hips all the way back, making circular motions here. And let's reverse it. Whatever way you were coming, let's go the other way. And also, it kind of gives us a little wrist massage as we make that roll up and over our wrist. And then coming to neutral, neutral spine, neutral neck, looking down at your mat. Engaging that core, so bring that belly button to spine, puffing out between the shoulders. Curl those toes, and then lift, lift up, lift those knees up and hover. Few breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one, lift those hips up and back, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. You need to walk that down dog. You could bend one knee and the other. If you like to come into stillness right away, that's also fine. Drawing that belly button back to spine again, if, if it's a, you lost it there in that transition. 
gaze is to the back or up at your belly button. I like to do this little uh, stretch. I know some like to do that um, walking that down dog. So I like to bring my heels in, my toes are out, and, and I'm in this like Charlie Chaplin um, down dog. And then this is where I like to walk the dog and it gives you more of a stretch up the hip. The side of the ribs and then bend the other knee. You can rock side to side and then coming into our regular down dog. So come out of that Charlie Chaplin. Find that stillness. Looking up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Step it up. Flat back here. Your neck is neutral. Exhale, forward fold. You could grab your elbows. Let's get into those hamstrings. Grab the elbows and let, let go of the neck. Bend the knees as much as you need to. This is our first forward fold. Be mindful. With each breath, you might find a little bit closer to the mat. Maybe lengthening and straighten the knees a little bit more. But don't rush it. Let's just do it naturally here. Release the hands down to the side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's come all the way up. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, hands to the side, Tadasana. Bring the shoulders away from the ears. Finding all four corners of your feet. Finding that lift in the arch. Belly button to spine. Your neck is neutral and the top of the head is reaching towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Inhale, arms up, look up, reach up. Belly button in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and step it back, high plank. All right, plug those toes into the mat, heels back. Five breaths here, puffing up between the shoulders. Five, four, spread those fingers apart. Three, two, one, let's come all the way down to the mat, bend those elbows to low plank. Slow all the way down, drop the belly, coming into Sphinx Pose. So bring those hands up, elbows underneath the shoulders. Release those glute muscles. Coming into our Sphinx Pose. Pushing that chest forward. And coming into seal. So the hands, let's walk them up one hand placement up. And then pressing away, pressing that mat away from you into seal's pose. Finding that nice stretch in your abs. Next breath, lift left arm up. We're going to slide it. Um, actually, we're going to bring it out to the left. Spider fingers and then come all the way down. We're going to come over that left shoulder for a shoulder opening stretch and coming onto the left side. You could use that right knee as a kickstand, making sure your head is resting on the mat. Five breaths here, five, four, three, two, one. 
Let's inhale, coming back up, back into Sphinx Pose. And seal, so walk your hands up, seal. We're gonna do the other side, lift right arm up, bring it over to the right, lay it flat, come on down. And let's come into that opening shoulder stretch. You should be on your right side if you did the right hand. Remember to rest your head on the mat. Unclench the jaw. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's come back up and over. Let's bring our hands down to our chest. Curl those toes. We're going to press up. You could bring your knees to the mat and coming all the way up to high plank. Five breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, down dog. You can do some nice cleansing breath. Let's do some, actually some uh, lion's breath here. So since no one is looking, you can sting, stick your tongue out and then exhale with your tongue out. So let's do two more. Inhale to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Let's take one vinyasa, step it back, high plank. Slow exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's come on again to all fours, but kind of hover those knees. Start to bend the knees and hover. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees. Coming into a modified side plank. So right hand underneath that right shoulder, right knee. Opening up, so opening up to a modified side plank. Shoulders are stacking, hips are stacking. Let's lift that left leg up and flex it here. Bring that left arm up and over the head and let's drop that left foot down. Nice stretch here all along the outside of that left body. And let's come into modified side plank. Lift the leg. That left arm is stacking with the shoulder. Let's do that stretch again. Drop the leg, left arm up and over. You could point those left toes, gives you a little bit of an extra stretch. All right, next thing, we're going to bend that knee, bend that left elbow, left knee, bring it in, tuck it in real tight. With that left hand, grab that ankle, half bow. So opening up here to half bow, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Pulling that left leg away, feeling that nice hip opening. And then let's release, modified side plank. Let's do the other side, back to all fours. 
I'm going to switch sides to watch you. So you can wiggle it off here, a couple of cat cows. One more. And let's go into that modified side plank on the opposite side. So extend that uh, right leg out, open up, up. Hips are stacking, shoulder stacking. Belly button to spine. Lift that right leg up, flex it. Bring right arm up, up and over. And then drop that right foot, point those toes. And then lift up modified side plank. And let's point those toes, reaching up and over the head. Modified side plank, bend the right elbow, right knee. They kind of meet here. Now grab the right ankle, half bow. Pushing forward, pushing that chest, those hips, and then pulling that right leg back. Few breaths. Three, two, one, release. Coming back to all fours and take your vinyasa. Step it back. Inhale, up dog, Udra Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Few breaths here. Inhale to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Start to bend the knees. Here we're gonna come into chair pose. So let's come all the way up. Chair pose. Pinkies in to drop those shoulders away from the ear, zipper everything in. Let's find some balance here. We're gonna step back to crescent lunge. Right leg stays planted, lift the left, step it back. Crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Few breaths here. Our pigeon is gonna feel pretty good here with all this hip opening. And then bring those hands down to the mat, coming into pyramid pose. So framing the right foot, your left heel is gonna stay up, lengthen the right knee, and then forehead to shin. Square those hips off. Let go of the neck here. Let's spin that back heel down, kind of like warrior two. So that left heel down, and then arms are gonna come into a halfway lift here. So square those hips off, try not to lock that right knee. You wanna flat back. Inhale, let's step it up, bend that right knee, step it in, chair pose. Few breaths. We're gonna switch to the other side. <clears throat> Grounded <clears throat> on that left foot, step it back, press it, lunge. <coughs> Take a drink of water here. <coughs> Deep breaths. All right, let's come into our pyramid. So hands drop, frame that left foot this time. Right heel is up, lengthen that left knee. Forehead to shin. Square those hips off. We 
your next breath. Let's spin that back heel down like warrior one. Inhale, coming up halfway lift in your pyramid pose. Draw that belly button to spine. Flat back here. Let's step it up, chair pose. Last one. Zipper everything in. Let's open up to the side. So let's do a little twist. So arms open up to the right. Let's do the other side. Back to neutral chair, open to the left. Coming back to neutral chair, exhale, forward fold, take your vinyasa. Nice, exhale down, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Few breaths here. We're gonna do that maybe a little bit different, but in a faster breath. Inhale, right leg up. Step it in, crescent lunge. Inhale, come all the way up. Hands down to the mat. Lengthen. Drop the forehead down. Inhale, let's come up halfway lift. And this pyramid pose. Step it in, chair pose. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Take your vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it in, crescent lunge. Inhale as you come all the way up. Hands down to the mat, pyramid pose. Spin back heel down, halfway lift in this pyramid pose. Step it up, chair pose, Utkatasana. Let's find this twist again, but let's go a little bit deeper. So bring your hands to prayer. Hook left elbow outside the right knee. You can open up here. Three, two, one. Back to chair pose. Let's do the other side. Bring your hands to prayer. Hook right elbow outside that left knee. Looking over that left shoulder, you could open up if you want to. Three, two, one. Back to chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Shake it off. New breaths here. We'll continue here. Your next breath. Let's hop, step, jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. All right, we're gonna come into Utita Hasta Para Gustasana. So that's hand to big toe. We're gonna come in through it, coming down from the mat, or you could meet me at the top. So place that left hand to that left hip. Find that length in the back. Belly button to spine. There's gonna be a nice bend in that left knee. Peace fingers, grab the right toes. And then inhale, coming up. Bring that right foot up with you.
few breaths here and start to open up to the right. Remember, option, you could bring me in and then open up. Three, two, one. Let's bring it back to center. Release the big toes, come in into figure four. All right, so place that right foot over that left knee. Let's come down with prayer hands. You can bring the elbow to right knee and then left elbow to the arch of the foot, the ankle, or your hands could, could come all the way down that, those left toes kind of wrap around that left elbow. Uh, or I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, let's come all the way up. Back to figure four. We're gonna come into dancer. So right leg is still bent, grab it with the right hand. So you wanna grab that right foot through the inside, through the arch. Left arm up. We're gonna start to hinge forward. Before you do that, start to pull that right foot into your hand and hinge forward. Square those hips off. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, warrior three. Square those hips off. Your hands could be at heart, heart center or up in front of you. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Warrior two, step it back. Woo! Nice break here. Okay, let's turn around so I can see you. We're gonna come into extended side angle, but we're gonna hold a tray with that left hand. So left hand holding a tray in front of you, right arm up and over. Hinge into that left hip. Coming into peaceful. Remember that we're gonna do that two more times. Hold that tray and extend at side angle. Peaceful. Tray and extend at side angle. And then peaceful. Coming into a regular extended side angle. So elbow hovering over that left knee, barely touching, don't put all that weight in. Right arm up and over. Few breaths here. And then we move those hands down, frame that left foot, back heel spins up, back into pyramid. Step it up, standing splits, right leg lifts up. Since Missy's in class, let's do it one kundalini. So bend that right knee behind that left. Bring your hands to prayer. All right, step it back, low lunge here, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's do the other side. Hop, step, jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, this time, right hand grabs that right hip. Peace fingers, grab those left toes. Draw the belly button to spine. Find that length in the back. 
Nice bend in that right knee. Inhale, coming up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's open up to the left. We're gonna hold for five counts here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center. And figure four, release those feet fingers. Figure four, coming all the way down. Whatever you did on the other side, honor this set, the same side. Our hands to the mat. You could wrap those left toes, wrapping that bicep. Bring your hands to prayer. And when we come up, we're gonna prep, come up to do dancer. Inhale, coming up, keeping that left knee bent. Grab that left foot with your left hand. Now let's grab the inside of the arch. So the grip changes. Lift right arm up, start to hinge forward, but press that left leg back. Dancers here. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, warrior three. Square those hips off. Five, woo, lost my balance. Four, three, two, one. Step at back, warrior two. Woo. All right, looking over those right fingertips, Drishti is down that right middle finger. We're gonna come into that extended side angle, holding that tray. So right arm, hold that tray, left arm up and over. We're gonna do three of these with a peaceful. Inhale, up, peaceful, tray. This is where the good stuff is, guys. Belly button in, peaceful. Tray. Let's make this one count. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Last peaceful. And then coming into extended side angle. Elbow above that right knee, left arm up and over. Tuck in that pelvis in. It tends to kind of stick out here, so tuck in that pelvis. All right, coming into pyramid up here. So frame the right foot, back heel spins. Coming into pyramid again. So forward fold here. Nice stretch after doing all that balancing pose, poses. All right, coming into standing splits. So inhale, lift that left leg up. Let's reach it up high, lift, lift, lift. One kundalini. Little hands to prayer or not. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's step it back, low lunge. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You need a water break, I'm gonna check my time. Take a water break here. Or you could stay in down dog. When you're ready, you will meet me back in down dog. And then we're gonna come into a high plank and into side plank here. So right arm stays planted, open up. Feet are either stacking 
keeping those hips lifted. Let's drop that right knee down, kind of like that, that modified side plank. All right, we're gonna come into something here. So press down really hard with that right hand. You're gonna come into tree pose. So grab that heel, let's bring it in. Tree pose, or you can come, you can do a half lotus. Ooh, you can always drop that right knee down. You could either do that tree or that half lotus. Let's do the other side. So back to plank. Let's do the other side. Switch on my mats. High plank. Let's do it on the left. Side plank. Vashistasana. Few breaths here. Right foot stays planted, coming into that half lotus or tree pose. That knee could touch the mat and that heel in. I like to do my half lotus here. Few breaths and then bring it down, step it back. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Woo, how are you guys doing? Good? All right. Let's inhale to the top of the mat, hop, step, jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's come all the way up one vertebrae at a time. Let go of the head. Bend those knees. And last thing that comes up is those shoulders and head. And then wide step to the left. You could face me, Pasarita Paracharasana, or this five pointed star. All right, let's come into triangle here on the right. So right toes point to the top of the mat. Reach, reach forward, hips back into triangle. Three Kanasana. Gaze is either down at the right foot. You're feeling pretty good. Up at the ceiling. Inhale, let's come up, bend that right knee as you come up safely. Let's do the other side. So Trikonasana to the back of the mat, reach, reach forward, hips back. One of my favorite poses. A few more breaths here. Release whatever is Kind of lock in, release it here. Send your breath to it. Inhale, let's come up, back to five pointed star. And forward fold here, toes in, heels out, forward fold. Hands are parallel to the feet. Find that length in the back. And then exhale, forward fold. The crown of the head reaching towards the mat. Inhale, coming up. Plant those hands underneath the face and let's walk those feet in. We're gonna end up in Malasana squat. So bring those heels, feet in, Malasana squat. This little yogi squat here. Use those elbows, biceps to open up those hips. I'm going to do a bind 
So right shoulder, put it inside that right knee. Thumb is up and then rotate it down. Binding that bind, looking over that left shoulder. We'll hold here for five breaths. Four, three, two, one. Let's release. We're going to do the other side. Bring both arms in front of you. Okay, left side, right thumb is up and then thumb down. Wrap it around that left knee. Start to look over to the right, bind the right hand. You could grab the shirt, whatever is back there, just grab onto it. If you don't have the bind yet, that's okay. And three more breaths here. Three, two, one. And let's release here. Let's come all the way down. So our bottoms are going to come all the way down front of, and sitting in Navasana. So bring those legs out in front of you. Get those sits bones kind of spread apart here. Find that length. So I like to bring my hands to my knees, my shins, and then find that length and start to extend the feet out in Navasana. Five, four, three, two, one. Peace fingers, grab those toes. Let's balance here. Find that length again. This time we're gonna come into this wide-legged Navasana. We're holding our toes with our peace fingers. Find that length in the back. Just for kicks, let's bring it to the center. Bring both feet to the center. Yay! And then let's spread it back apart. Use that core, we're gonna come all the way down. So you could do one knee at a time or both. We're gonna land in this wide-legged forward fold. So plant those hands, you could walk it forward, you could Spread the flesh before you do that. That helps. Walk those hands forward. Let go of the head. Look down at the floor. Inhale, release. Let's come all the way up. Let's bend that left knee in. And let's come into this side stretch right hand grabbing the inside of the foot left the outside of the right foot shoulder is kind of helping open you up here peeking your head through let's come up release let's do the other side so bend the right knee in, extend that left leg out, square yourself up here. Left hand grabs the inside of that left arch, right up and over, grabbing the outside of the foot. Three more breaths. Nice stretch on those right hand side of those ribs. Inhale, coming up. Bring both knees in, bent. And we're gonna come up back to standing. So you could cross those legs, coming back up. And coming into again, kind of a wide-legged forward fold here. So start to forward fold, hands to the mat. We're going to prep for Titi Basana. All that stretching and shimmying, the 
shoulders and peeking our head through, we're gonna just prep for, was a prep for Titibhasana or close to it. So you could watch here. I'm gonna come onto the side. So I start to bend the knees and then shimmy my shoulders underneath the knees, shimmy them in. You could walk the feet in, plant the hands behind the heels, start to sit back and then plant the hands. That's gonna be your foundation. Start to look up. If this is where you are, stay right here. You could start to sit back look to the top of the mat. You could walk those feet in. You could extend, keep one uh, foot planted, extend one leg, bring it back. What, the one leg stays planted, extend the other, bring it back. All right, if you want to go, go to a full Titibhasana, both, woo, extend. Five, four, three, two, one, whoa. Release and come into Baddha Konasana. Cause we let, we just landed there. So that just seems suitable. All right, make a diamond with the feet. Both feet plant, open up the feet and then drop the head, resting on the soles of the feet. Few breaths here. <laughs> Inhale, coming up. We had one request for pigeon. So bring those knees in, tuck them in real tight. Plant the hands and jumping back or step back to high plank. Let's do five breaths in high plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up. Let's bend that knee, open up that right hip. If you want to flip your dog here, you can. Or wild thing. And when you're ready, flip it back to high plank and then down dog, lift that right leg up and then step it in, coming into pigeon. All right, before you bow down to this pigeon, making sure your hips are square, do a little self check, a little self assessment here. So looking back over, making sure those, that left leg is, is extended out. Let's do some waterfalls here. So spider fingers to the outside of the mat. Let's do three. Inhale up. Exhale. Take your time here when you come up. Feeling that hip stretch on the left and then down. Let's come up one more time. Pause here. Now surrender to this pigeon. So walk your hands to the front. You could always do prayer hands and then drop the head to the mat. And it gives you a um, triceps nice stretch here. We'll hold this stretch at least eight breaths. Right. If 
your hands or in prayer, bring them down and then walk up. If you want to do the king pigeon, you could bend that left hip, uh, left knee, grab that left toes. You could bring it all the way in to the crease, left elbow crease. Or you could just hold that leg in. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Let's do the other side. So release that left leg, press down really hard, come onto those left toes, lift that left knee up, and then shoot it back out. Do whatever feels good to you. You can shake it off. When you're done, Bring it back down to down dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Open up that left hip. If you did wild thing or flip dog. And then coming back to blink. Down dog. Left leg is lifted. Step it into pigeon. Be mindful here. Do that little self check. Shimmy that right leg back. Square those hips off and those shoulders. Spider fingers outside the mat. Let's do three. Slow. Exhale. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Last one, make a count here. And surrender here. Walk your hands to the top. If you did your prayer hands, you could do the same. Eight breaths. gently come up, walk your hands back close to you. And if you did your king pigeon or just holding on to that right leg, holding on to the ankle, you're feeling a little bit bendy, stretchy. That right foot comes to the cre oh, right elbow crease. Five. Four, three, two, one. Gently release, don't slingshot it. And then press them down really hard. Come up, up to those right toes. Lift that left knee up and then shoot it back. You can walk this down dog. Jumping through to seated to the top of the mat. We're going to come into our backs. Maybe do a bridge or wheel. So bring your hands out in front of you, lengthen that back. Belly button to spine, palms are facing each other. Let's start to come all the way down one vertebrae at a time. And then release your long body stretch or whatever needs doing here. 
if you want to come into Baddha Konasana, just recline Baddha Konasana. That feels pretty good as well for those hips. All right, let's prep into our wheel or bridge. So your choice bridge is going to be when you lift those hips up, knees are bent. If you want to do your full wheel, hands back behind you, behind the head. Fingers, tips are gonna be facing the same direction as your toes. All right, let's hold for five breaths and we'll do two of these. Five, four, three, two, one. You can do one little push up here and then press back up. Five, four, three, two, one and then release and do bring those knees in make this feel good grab the shins rock your hips side to side because it feels pretty good do any of you we didn't do any inversions do you guys want to do headstand or anything like that let me look closely Headstand or not? <clears throat> yes, all right, we have one headstander. You could always do happy baby. That's an inversion. Yes. Take your time in your headstand. Try not to put all the weight on your neck. Nice, beautiful. <laughs> Awesome try. Good job. All right. Nice. Eventually, Linda, those knees will touch the mat. So try to uncurl the tailbone. Yes. Nice. I saw that. To the mat. All right. If you went inverted, you could do a forward fold or child's pose. Just to settle that low back in the forward fold or child's pose. Bringing your breath back to neutral. Every time we would invert, our heart rate raises up. So that's normal. All right, Liz, come back up. You could sit on your bottom. If you want to do another chaturanga, you can. And we're going to come all the way to back. Let's do a little stretch here. So arms out like a T, drop the knees over to the right. You could do your own little assist here. So with your right hand, place it on the right hips, hip bone, and then press it down. Looking over to the left as your knees drop down to the right. Let's do the other side. Extend those arms. Mindfully bring those knees up and over to the left. If you did the little self assist, pretend that I'm there. And I'm doing the little twist assist. Let's come all the way up. 
you have another pose that you want to do, you can. If not, Shavasana. So long body stretch. Remember, honoring this moment of stillness that we get few of throughout the day. Your eyebrows are kind of just release those eyebrows, the jaw, the shoulders. Let your hands rest on the mat. Naturally breathing here, using our diaphragm, not breathing through our, our chest. And I'm breathing like a baby. to come back to your awareness, gentle movements with toes and fingers. Coming up into your most supported side, you could come into a fetal position and then leaning over onto your side. Feeling the earth underneath you. Pressing yourself back up, eyes open or closed. Coming into your most favorite seated position, your easy pose, lotus. Thank you so much for joining me tonight on online. Remember, let's not rush back to that normal, the one that makes us feel that anxiety when we lose our peace. Just keep that in mind as we come back to our normal. May this inner peace and calmness follow you through tonight and into tomorrow. Namaste.